welcome back to Love Your Food. This week, in keeping with our cold weather recipes that we've been doing lately, we have this beautiful cream chicken soup. Now you can do this with uh, fresh chicken, but we're using leftover. We're using just leftover roasted chicken and uh, really great on a cold night. It's a really warming, rich, hearty soup. And we're going to start with some ingredients. We have some celery, some carrots. Uh, we're going to be using some mushrooms in this as well. Uh, some onions and a shallot. We're using a few different spices. We have oregano, basil, and thyme in there. Here is our roast chicken. This is left over. It is cold from the fridge. Uh, we're going to be adding a little bit of cream to this, and that is our chicken stock. So to get started, we are going to add a little bit of oil into a pan. Now, uh, it's going to be a little bit unusual. We're going to add some oil. This is some of our uh, beautiful cold-pressed canola oil that we get local here. And then we're also going to add a little bit of butter. Now, the butter is because to thicken this soup, we're going to make sort of a, an instant roux in the soup itself. Uh, and the oil actually helps the butter from to keep from burning a little bit. Uh, we're going to start, of course, with our carrots. They are, take the longest to cook. And we don't want to cook them, uh, cut them too small here. We're going to cut them into nice big pieces. Now, this soup, we are eventually going to be burr mixing it. Um, so the size of the veggie at this point uh, really depends on how fast you want them to cook. So uh, we're making the carrots uh, here into pretty small pieces. We do want them to cook pretty quickly, but they're not going to be this size in the final, uh, the final soup. We're also going to do the same to the celery again. Split the ribs down the middle, and then we're just going to give them a light chop. And then that'll go into the pot with the carrots. Again, we do want these cooked all the way through in the end, so we're going to put them in a little bit early. Uh, we're going to let that cook with the butter and the oil for a little while. Give it a good stir. Make sure you get that uh, oil covering, covering everything. And here we go with our onions. So... From the uh, other veggies to the onions, we're going to let those cook a little bit while we're dealing with our onions and our shallot. And we're going to cut them pretty slim, but we're not going to dice them. We're going to leave them into uh, these, these sort of half rings here. We're going to cut them pretty thin. We do want them to cook down pretty uh, thoroughly. But again, we are going to be burr mixing this, so the end uh, result, they're not going to be this shape in the final result. Uh, the shallot, we want this to cook pretty quickly uh, for sure, so we're just going to cut that in half, get the paper off the outside, just give it a good peel. And then uh, a really nice, very fine little slice. If there's any little dark spots, you can get rid of those. And we're going to cut that very, very thin. Again, we do want this one to cook pretty quickly. And there you see Chef Caleb giving that a nice chop. And all of that is going to go into the pot together. So all of the onion and shallot on top of our already cooking uh, celery and carrots. So that's given the carrots uh, a little bit of a head start on everything else. Uh, so that they get a little softer over the course of the cooking. We're going to add a little bit of salt. And give everything a nice little stir. We're going to avoid seasoning at this point. Not a whole... Uh, the salt is uh, always required at this point. But we're not going to add a little bit of pepper until a little bit later. And just give it a good stir. Make sure it all gets covered with that oil and butter. Oh, we're going to add the flour. And then that is going to mix with the butter in the 
in the pot. And once we add our stock a little bit later, this is going to actually uh, make its own roux in the pot. So you won't have to make the roux in a pan separately and add it. So this makes it a little bit easier. It's kind of cheating, but it works. We're going to cover that. We're going to let those veggies all get nice and wilted. While we're waiting for that, we're going to prepare our mushrooms. Now the mushrooms, of course, are optional. Uh, we love them in this recipe. It's fantastic. We're just going to quarter these. And these are not going to be added to be burr mixed. So here you can see the veggies are all pretty much wilted at this point. And some of that flour and butter is starting to uh, make a little bit of uh, roux at the bottom of the pot. So you do want to make sure you scrape all that up. You don't want it to stick to the bottom and burn. But we're going to use a little bit of stock and some water uh, here, and that's going to deglaze that really, really nicely, and uh, it's going to help thicken the thicken the soup. So you can see everything's really nice and wilted. All of the juices are coming out of the onions and uh, shallot as well, and we're going to start adding our stock now. If you're if you've made your own stock from uh, our recipe earlier, by all means, use your own homemade stock. We are using uh, the low sodium uh, stock that we buy in cartons at our local grocery store. We're going to use a full box of that, and then we're also going to add about a half a box of water. We're just going to use the same box. We're just going to refill it about halfway with water and then add that after the stock. So there you go. Uh, Good opportunity to get some of the flour off of your spoon at this point. Uh, just rinse it off in that stock. If you have some little bits of flour and butter stuck to your spoon. And here comes the water. That's from the, uh, the same box. We're just going to use a little bit of water in there as well. Now because this is a cream soup, we do prefer to add... Uh, a light stock to this instead of a dark stock. Uh, it's just a nicer flavor profile with the cream. So we're going to let that cook a little bit more. We're actually going to cover it and let it cook. Meanwhile, we're going to move on to getting our chicken ready. So much like uh, the turkey rest, turkey soup recipe we did very recently, the turkey chowder with the potatoes, uh, we're just going to peel this off of the bones. Um, try to get it in as large pieces as you can. We like to uh, get those nice large pieces. And this is the breast here. And we're just going to pull that right off of there. And again, this is not going to be the final shape, of course. We are going to be chopping this into a much smaller pieces. Um, so here you go, here's Chef Caleb, he's just going to cut it into slices this way, and then he's going to dice it quickly the other direction as well. And that's about the size that we're looking for. Um, now this is already cooked, we don't need to cook this at all. Um, we're going to add that to the soup at the end, and all it has to do is get hot. Now, you can see our soup is boiling a little bit. You can see a little bit of froth. That is a sign that the flour is cooking, which is good. You don't want that raw flour taste in there. The flour cooking means that the roux is coming together and thickening the soup for us. So we're just going to give that a little stir. Make sure there's nothing stuck to the bottom. Uh, just give a good stroke at the bottom there with your wooden spoon. Meanwhile, we are going to start some butter in a pan uh, to cook our mushrooms. So into the pan they go. We want that pretty hot. We want some nice color on those. A little bit of salt. And a little bit of pepper as well. A good idea is to try and get them all on a face if you can, just to get a little bit of brown on those nice faces. So we're going to pop our spices into our soup at this point, while our mushrooms are cooking and our cream is going in. And uh, now, once that's all mixed in there, we are going to add our burr mixer. We're going to get this all nice and smooth. 
Now, we do like a little bit of texture in our soup when all this is said and done, so there are going to be small pieces of everything floating around. It's not going to be perfectly smooth. If you want a smoother texture, at this point you would want to strain this, uh, which is perfectly acceptable if you want that really silky smooth, um, creamy soup texture. We like a little bit of texture. We have little bits of carrot floating around, which uh, we think is a really nice sort of visual component to the soup. And of course, we're not going to be burmixing the uh, the chicken or the mushrooms. Those are going to be another textural component in there as well. So once that's all mixed together, uh, burmixed, pretty smooth. You can see there we do have some little bits of the uh, the carrot in there. Our mushrooms look beautiful. They've got a little bit of brown coloring on them. And those are just going to go into the soup. They're also nice and buttery. That's one thing about mushrooms. They are like little sponges, and they will soak up all that buttery flavor. And then with the mushrooms, we're going to add our chicken. And just give that a nice stir and get that all combined. And that's it. Once that chicken is uh, heated up, once it's at the same temperature of the soup, everything's... Uh, been heated through, you're ready to serve this, and that's it. And that's all. There's your uh, beautiful cream chicken soup made from leftover chicken, uh, leftover roast chicken. If you like this recipe, please do like and subscribe. And if you have any recipes you'd like to see Chef Caleb try on the channel, please let us know in the comments below. And remember to love your food.